up? I'm Nick. I work here at XTSR in the music department, and this is the music room where we listen to CDs sent to us from local bands up to bands like Red Hot Chili Peppers, and we listen to them and decide which songs are worth putting on the air or not. So the process in here is to pretty much take a CD out of the case that's been sent to us. Oh, it's actually harder than it looks, and just pop it right on in and give it a listen. See if it's good or not. How does one take it out? Shut of so here you write down the artist or the band name, the album, tracks you listened to, tracks you thought were worth adding, and then you you rather add it or reject from the system, and then maybe why, and then sign a date. Hi, my name is Patrick Much. I'm program director here at XTSR, and welcome to the production and programming room. So in here, we record and produce a lot of PSAs, liners, promo stuff for the station, but we also record and create playlists using sources that aren't CDs that we uh, get sent in from various record labels. So once you've exported uh, your recorded song from Spotify using whatever audio editing software you're using, you want to get it up into iTunes. And then from there, from iTunes, you can add it into our automation system, which is Backbone. And again, it's as easy as dragging it into the system. And from there, you can, you can change the rotation that it'll sit in. Um, you can change how often uh, it's played, the rotation value, and how that can uh, change over time. So, you can, so an item can start out at a high uh, rotation value, but then over time, an hour, a day, a week, it can go down. So you can get real in depth with uh, with this system, but you, there is absolutely no need to do that. It's up to you. Everything's up to you. The world is your oyster. I'm Troy Everhart. I'm the promotions director here at XTSR, and this is the administrative office. Not much actually happens in the administrative office, though. No, dude, you can't say. So much happens here in the administrative office at XTSR, whether we answer phone calls or emails from clients or local musicians looking to get their music on the air for the first time, we'll schedule shows and we'll even bring in new staff who are looking to get their first radio gig. Isn't that right, Troy? That's right, Troy. Thanks, Troy. Hi, my name is Luke Kinnaman, and I'm one of the engineers here at XTSR. We're currently in the on-air studio, and this is where you can come and record your own show and put it out on the air, or you can record it live, you can have people call in, and next we're going to show you how to do some of that stuff. Hi, and welcome back to the on-air studio. Before we begin, I just I want to get this mic into position. Awesome. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to go over is our software is called Backbone, and that's how you're going to run your entire show. And it's extremely simple. Say we've already got this playlist going, it's always going to be going unless you stop it. And you can if you want to put on your own music with our auxiliary cable. All you would need to do is activate the auxiliary fader, slide it up, and bring the Mac fader back down. The same principle goes with the mic, which is right here. You have an activation, and you just bring it back up. So, if you want to actually go on air, also an extremely simple thing. Just pop on the headphones, hit live microphone, and a yellow counter begins on the screen. This counter is how much time you have until the end of the current song. Following that, a red counter will appear, and during that time, you're on air. So, just hit this, bring up the fader, and it's as simple as that.
you're still here. It's over. Go home. Go.